what's going on guys welcome back to my channel it's been a little bit um <clears throat> today i wanted to give you a another life update about what's been going on with me um so things have been hard uh <clears throat> things have definitely been hard for sure um i started at this new job like i said i've been working at it for about three and a half four weeks now um it's very difficult um i'm working at a pharmaceutical company we're going to be making different uh, different types of pharmaceutical drugs uh in specific for um specifically uh for diabetes so um it's a really 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 grueling process um Pretty much all we've been doing for the last three, four weeks is training on the computer, reading endless page after page after page after page after page of how to go over documentation. And I mean, they're they're so adamant about documentation. Like you have to you have to have ridiculously good documentation. It's it's just crazy. Um, so it's you know they're going over chemicals. You know all the different kinds of chemicals what kinds of chemicals you can't mix what kinds of chemicals you can mix i just wanted to turn on the light for a second um you know the different <laughs> different types of things you have to look out for so you don't start a fire or you know cause a a factory explosion or it, it's just you know it's extremely stressful and um you know, I, I'm happy, at least for now, I have a job, but that's probably going to be coming to an end soon because what I didn't know is that, you know, the the gravity of how, you know, serious the documentation and these tests were. Um, so I found out last week that we were going to be doing this big test. Well, at least big for me and my coworker. Um, we're going to be doing this test, and if we have failed it, then we were going to be fired, essentially, because we need to pass this test, from what they're telling us, we need to pass this test in order to go on the floor and actually do the work that's required of us. So, we both failed this test, um, not surprisingly, because, I mean, we're, we're just learning so much. I mean, for the past four weeks, it's just... All this information's just been crammed down our throats, you know. It, it really scientific, you know, scientific stuff. Like, I, you know, I don't know how to really describe. Like, I, I guess there's some of the questions, some of the questions we got, you know, I, I, you know, some of the questions we got were like, how much nitrogen is in the air, um, you know, things like, you know, what kind of what percentage levels of oxygen have to be, you know, in the air in order to, to live? Like, you know, what, what percentage of oxygen has to be present in the environment, um, in order for you to not start having breathing problems. So I learned that, you know, our atmosphere, the air we breathe is made up of 78% nitrogen and, um, you know, 22% oxygen, and if it falls, if it falls below 19 and a half percent oxygen, then you're going to have problems breathing, and, you know, if it falls below 6%, then it could result in severe brain hemorrhaging, and, and you know, eventually it could result in a fatality, when it's just, like, it's, the stuff we're learning is just, like, it's like Bill Nye the Science Guy stuff, um, it's, <laughs> it's crazy, um, you know, and in all my jobs that I've had, like I've had jobs, sure, like where we have to, you know, we've had to do training that, you know, at, at, I worked at Medline, I've worked at Abbott, I worked at, um, you know, I, I, I worked at, uh, one that's uh, called Takeda Pharmaceuticals, you, you know, you know, that's, and that was a two week class, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't huge, um like this is and the documentation is insane in this you know like when i worked at takeda it was you know we were we were we were production associates we were just inspecting iv fluid bags now it was serious don't get me wrong it was serious like we had to 
you know, make sure there were no defects in the IV bags, you know, this you know, plastic pieces. We had to make sure the IV bags weren't too old because if we were, then we could get seriously um, in trouble for that because, you know, if that gets sent to a hospital and then somebody injects that into their veins, then they get sick or they die, then yeah, we're, we're responsible for that. Um, so, you know, the class was a two week long class when I worked there and it was definitely, you know, it was, it was strict, but it was not anything like what we were doing right now. I mean, it's just, <laughs> you know, this test, we both failed it and, um, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen if they're going to fire us tomorrow. I, I mean, they said that we were going to get fired, so I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. But, you know, they're like, oh, come back tomorrow and we'll let you know. So it's like, you know, I, I, I spent two months getting this job and just for them to throw it out, you know, they tell me, oh, well, you're fired because you didn't pass this test. Like, I'm just... I'm really, really stressed out, um, really stressed out, like, it, it, I'm just to the point where I'm like, you know, <laughs> I, again, I, I try not to be too negative on this channel anymore, but, you know, um, it, it just seems like, you, you know, every time I, I get, you know, every time I get out of the pit that I'm in, I, I kind of fall back in and or I slip back in it's like you know it's like running up a slip it just feels like I'm running up a slip and slide and then every time I get like halfway up I fall back down so you know and, and it doesn't help that you know I'm, I'm trying to deal with you know my mental issues too as well trying to get help for that but you know everything everything is an arm and a leg in Joe Biden's economy you can't I mean I just called um you know, because I wanted to make an appointment with, I don't even know why, um, I guess just in case I, <laughs> in some miracle, I don't get fired from this job, but, um, I wanted to, um, to try something new, um, and go to a holistic doc, it, they're called, a, it's called a holistic doctor, um, basically what this doctor does, they look at you as a whole, they look at your body as a whole, body, mind, everything, spirit, and, you know, they, they take from that, um, and they figure out how to help you, um, based on doing an entire assessment of your body, your all overall physical and mental and emotional well-being and all that. Um, and you know, I, I, I had a good call and uh, I was talking with this lady and she's like, yeah, well, you know, actually this doctor has, you know, a spot open for Monday. And I was like, oh, how much is it? And she was like, well, just to let you know, they don't take insurance and it's, $360. So <laughs> I said, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford that, <clears throat> you know, and even <laughs> I, I went to, um, cause I've been even going to low cost, um, or at least I was until I ran out of money. Um, but I was going to this low cost, um, place and, um, Waukegan, Lake County Health Department, I was going there, and, um, you know, um, it's, a. Uh, I went to this, uh, this doctor, and, um, or I should say this, um, psych or not, not psychiatrist, who was a social worker, and I saw her for a couple hours, and I found out later that the bill was, like, $386, and they're, they're going to give it to me. I don't know when they're going to give it to me, but uh, somehow it came out to $386. And I was like, well, how is that possible? Like, I don't remember, you know, signing anything for $386. Um, so it's just like, how am I getting this bill for $386 when I don't remember signing anything for $386? Um, so that happened. And, um, you know, I was supposed to see the psychiatrist and then I, I missed the psychiatrist appointment cause I had to work cause I ran out of money again. And it's just like, I, you know, I'm struggling to get ahead. You know, I'm living with my friend. I've, I've 
been trying it would really help if i just had a room to live at you know to live in or to rent but i i can't even find a room to rent um you know and for those who watch my channel you already know going back to you know my narcissistic parents is definitely not an option so um for you know unfortunately fortunately unfortunately i can't do that um but you know it's it's stressful you know and inflation's fucking killing me it, it's it's kicking my ass it's killing me um you know if you want anything including food it's an arm and a leg you know yeah i mean i went to this store and lettuce was like five six dollars you know cherry tomatoes are like eight dollars um bananas are like five six dollars for the non-organic it's just like you can't <laughs> They punish you for eating healthy and, you know, even, even the unhealthy stuff is now super expensive. So you're punished, you, you're, you're punished for eating healthy and you're punished for eating unhealthy, essentially. <laughs> like, you know, a bag of chips is $5, every, everything that's unhealthy, like cereal is five, six, seven dollars boxes of cereal, um, you know, pancakes, four or five dollars. I can't, it's like, I can't afford to eat unhealthy and I can't afford to eat healthy. Um, you, you know, like I, I can't obviously go to the doctor cause I don't have insurance and in America insurance is mostly connected to your job unless you want to pay five, $600 out of pocket for insurance. It's just like, you know, you get what my point, like everything is just so expensive here now inflation's through the roof. And it's not just inflation. It's not just the price. It's not just Inflation is not the single reason as to why the prices are so, are so expensive, which is what, you know, bothers me the most. It's really just pure corporate greed at this point. Um, I was reading somewhere online where, you know, inflation's around, I want to say 30 to 40% of the reason, but you know, these corporate, these corporate companies, it's just greed at this point. You know, there's, there's no reason why a package of ground beef needs to be $25, $30 an hour. I mean, it's just, when it was only, it was like $10, $15, maybe $15 at the most a few years ago. I, I don't even remember it being $15. I think it was more like 10 to $12 or something like that. You know, I, I, and rice, a box of rice is $5, like $5 for a box of rice. Potatoes is like five, $6. You know, I can't, gas is like 60 plus dollars and i'm you know i have a chevy cruise so i have like an afford i have a fuel efficient car that i've been had for like many years now it, it's just like nothing's affordable at all you know even i had to cancel my therapy because even better help was not really was getting really expensive at 180 dollars a month it's just like <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. Um, I know this video isn't, you know, depressing, but I, I, you know, I try to give my updates. Like I try to tell it like it is when I, you know, do these life updates and make my videos. Um, you know, I, I don't, I'm trying to be a little less negative. Like I said, not, not ranting as much, not getting angry. I'm, I'm definitely annoyed um, and frustrated about my situation. Cause it just seems like I am, trying really hard to get out of this hole um very very hard um i've messaged dozens upon dozens upon dozens upon dozens upon dozens of people all across different platforms from roomies to roomster to citru to um roommates.com to facebook marketplace to craigslist and it's like i'm barely getting any messages out of it and the couple messages I did get were really good. And they, you know, the room was only for five dot or 500 a month. And one guy rented it out to his girlfriend and another, this other lady I was talking to just stopped responding for some reason. So I was like, great, you know, I, I, like <laughs> it, it's just, everything's a struggle for me. I, at least for me, I don't know how it is with you guys. Let me know in the comments down below, drop a comment down below if it's been a struggle for you with this inflation thing um but for me finding housing uh prices between finding housing the prices of food gas uh jobs jobs was really his job was really really hard to find i mean I, now you know i don't know if what's gonna happen tomorrow like everything is just <clears throat> 
hard. It's just, you know, it's like life is just on hard mode times 10. And I feel like I'm just struggling to get by and it, it's just been, it's been a nightmare. So, um, anyway, guys, I got to go to work tomorrow. Um, I will keep you updated and make another video shortly as to what happens with that. Um, but until next time, guys, um, deconstructing narcissism, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.